some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a courthouse somewhere in Michigan where a frauditor gets arrested twice in one day. The first time for failing to consent to a search, which is a standard operating procedure for Michigan courthouses, and the second time for disorderly conduct in the courthouse after he returned for a second go. Oh man, we got a real brainiac of a frauditor on our hands today. At any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Why? We have to Can I help you? We have to search you. Before. What crime do you suspect we have committed? Stop. Well, dumbass, it's called security procedures. When you go into a government building like a courthouse, they tend to search you for, oh, I don't know, weapons? Because you know what? They don't want that kind of thing in there. Just in case you are not there for business purposes, if you get my drift. We all have to go through weapon screening whenever we enter a courthouse. I know I did the last time I went in for jury duty. But please, let's carry on with your uh, inane persecution complex. What's your reason? Stop. It's for the judge and the prosecutor to demand it. That's it. You okay, do this every for what? Time. For safety. You're subject to a search when you step inside this building, period. No, so no, I'm not. Then you I, leave I, the building. I will leave the building. Leave the building. But I have business to conduct here. I need to go to the county clerk's office. Before you do that, we just have to search you. Okay, what what's, what crime do you suspect me of? Like my partner, Artie. Fourth Amendment. Sorry, everybody, but I had to turn down the volume because the guy was screaming at the top of his lungs by this point, and uh, YouTube doesn't like loud noises. So let's carry on. You cannot you cannot search me without it reasonable, articulable, reasonable, reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime. They can't. Hey. Give Stop me straight. a reasonable heart. I will heart. detain you. Stop. Stop. You are called Okay, I'm not detained? It is disorderly then conduct. Am I, am I detained okay. right now? You are being searched. Stop. Am I detained? I will detain you. Okay, I'm not Put detained. I'm going on my way. Get the f*** away from me. Do not assault me. Do not touch me. I will defend myself. Excuse me. Mr. Allen, there's nothing down here for you. How do you know I, how do you know I don't need a county controller? You don't know what I'm doing here. I told you I'm not going to the courtroom at this moment. So leave me alone. We have to search you. Under what suspicion of what crime? Judge and the prosecutor, they demand that you need to be searched before they even entering the building. Nope. You do not get to violate my Fourth Amendment rights. Unless you, you can, can articulate you. reasonable... You are not walking by me. Stop. Get your and that is where the first video ends. He claims he was arrested, so I'll just take his word for it at that point. But he returns later that day because, you know, he's so butthurt about the whole situation that he has to file a complaint. So let's go ahead and continue on with this uh, fraudatard's cavalcade of stupidity. But before we continue, I'm going to show you a 10-second clip of the original quality, uh, the original orientation of this video, because I had to uh, flip it around because he'd had this whole thing all wonky. So 10 seconds of that, then we'll return to the original video. What your rules are. I'm asking about court rules, not legal advice. I've never taken a, a filing for a filing fee for a criminal so you I mean, come on, dude. Why would you upload a video like that? It's all discombobulating. I mean, at least have it in a proper rotation before you uh, upload it. Is there like a district court clerk or court administrator? Uh, we're clerks. There's, I can get the administrator. Okay, can I? Yes, please. I don't know if there's any. Huh? I don't know if 
there's any security cameras in here. Oh yeah, right here. That's a camera. The county clerk's on the other one. I, I know, I gotta go here too. Find out what the cost for filing a criminal complaint is. Hi, what's the uh, cost for filing a criminal complaint under court rule 6.101C? A criminal complaint would have to go through... No, ma'am. Could you look up court rule 6.101C? Sure. Yes, I am. Yeah, I would. Uh, we don't allow that for the courts. Okay. Can you turn it off? Sure. It's off. Oh, you gotta love all those unwritten rules of being a frauditor, especially the one saying, I will always lie. Or how about the one that says, forget about the Tenth Amendment and just argue that every rule and regulation outside the Constitution or not mentioned in the Constitution is against the Constitution. Especially this one that says you can't record in Michigan courthouses. So as the old saying goes, you gotta lie to fraud it. Right. Okay. Turn it off. It's off. I've been assaulted in here by court deputies. I'm not going anywhere without a camera. You have a camera on me right now. Look, we're being recorded. I'm gonna, buy, I'm gonna have FOIA that, so it's all gonna be on camera. And where are we now? 6.101C. 6.101C. Would you read that and then tell me what the costs are for me to file a complaint? Either has to have the prosecutor's signature or security for a cost. So I'm going to file a criminal Do you have an attorney that was here with you today? Uh, what's the cost, ma'am, under 6.101C for me to file a criminal complaint? You don't file that with me. I, I'm just asking what the costs are. Criminal, criminal cases don't have any costs. So I, I can file a criminal complaint with no cost under 6.101C. Well, I'm not going to give you no, I'm, I'm asking you as the court administrator what your what your rules are. I'm asking about court rules, not legal advice. I've never taken a, a filing for a filing fee for a criminal complaint. So you don't know what the rules for the court and you're the court administrator? Yeah, you should have brought a lawyer along to do this for you, considering that uh, it says that prosecutor's approval or posting of security, which basically means either or. So it's one or the other. And in this case, if they don't take the uh, security deposit, it has to be the prosecutor's approval. And it already says here, a complaint may not be filed without a prosecutor's written approval endorsed on the complaint or attached to it, or unless security for costs is filed with the court. So take that advice and get yourself a damn lawyer so you can get through all the red tape properly instead of making yourself look like a dumb pile of crap but you so far you've already proven that you are that so please carry on i didn't say that okay so what's the cost under I've rules never had a filing fee for a criminal complaint so there's no filing the fee there's no filing fee is what you're telling me no, I'm I'm filing under 6.101C. I'm going to file the cost with my complaint. Could you tell me what the cost Where are you is? Going to file that? Yes, I'm going to file a criminal. Where do you plan on filing that? With, with the prosecutor? With the district court. Okay. It's court rules. We're talking court rules, not prosecutor. Prosecutor has nothing to do with this. Oh my goodness, uh, you are not that intelligent, are you? Considering that it's got to go through the prosecutor first to determine whether or not it's worth the time and effort to do anything with it. There has to be investigations. You just can't take it directly to the court, you dumbass. So how do you plan on filing that? I'm going to file a complaint right here with the court clerk. 
Michigan State Police or Sheriff's Department, they investigate, they do a report to the... So you're not going to follow court rules? Court rules says a complaint can be filed as long as costs are... So is that not what it says? Posting of security. I'll, you need prosecutor approval or posting of security. So I'm filing the one under posting of security. Okay. So what's the sec what's the security cost? I don't show security costs for a criminal complaint. But if it's not within court rule, if it's not. But you just read the court rule. It says I can file one. Sit here and argue with you and turn your phone off, please. So there's no there's no fee for uh, filing a criminal complaint with this court. We don't take a fee. Okay, thank you very much, ma'am. You've been very helpful. Oh, is the county clerk up here or downstairs? Do you know the county clerk's office? Back of the building. Back of the downstairs or on this level? The very end of this bench. Take a left. You gotta go down to the lower left. Okay, thank you. You've been very helpful. I appreciate it. All right. Uh, you scare me, sir. I would like to stay away from you. Please. Which way are you going, sir? I'm, going, I'm following you if you're in this building. Okay. Are you the one who assaulted me earlier? What is your name? Where's the court clerk or the county clerk's office? They adjourned your hearing for two weeks. I, I don't, do I need to be pe give up my Fourth Amendment rights to be in this building? You do. It's policy. We could, you have a right to uh, search on this government building. Okay. You do? Yes. Okay, I'm seeing a problem with the courthouse in this case. How the hell did he make it past the security checkpoint the second time without getting searched? So now this has definitely become a security breach, which definitely needs to be patched. But hey, at least they're trying to rectify the situation right now. But he still doesn't understand the Tenth Amendment, and therefore he does not understand that security is paramount in these buildings. So, yeah, you guys still got to take care of business. Okay. Yeah, you can f*** off. Where's the county clerk at? Hi, I need to make a FOIA request. Um, you have it wrote down or? No, no. You have a form or something I can fill out or? Uh, let me check and see if she has one. I'll be right back. You always violate people's rights. I don't know about his situation, but let me ask you a question. Were you born this ignorant and stupid, or did you have to work at it? You know when you slammed me up against the wall earlier? That was an assault, and I'm filing criminal charges on you for it. And if I ever see you without that badge, we're going to have a discussion. So I'm going to take every legal means Sir, possible. Because you're going to be escorted out of the building again. I'm just telling you, I'm going to take every legal means this available to me. Building. We have children here. We don't need to be having this discussion right here. I can discuss whatever I want. I don't care about children. I'm not swearing. I'm not being loud. I'm telling you, in the courtroom, courthouse, court, the county building, I'm going to take every legal means available to me to redress my grievances against you. I'm going to sue you personally, you've lost your qualified immunity, and I'm going to take money from you, legally. Okay. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass! Such a dumbass! You're an ass! Yeah, sure you are. It's not like you're the one who walked into a courthouse acting like you were exempt from all the laws, all the regulations, because you think you're something special. Well, that's not going to work out for you here, buddy. Put that aside, sir. When you come to court, we are going to search you. You know that. 
I wasn't going to court. I was coming to the county clerk and the county treasurer. It don't matter. I wasn't going in the court building. Don't play games. You know, this is going to happen. All right. You know the drill. I have to turn the volume down to appease YouTube, okay? So just bear with me, okay? Don't play games. You violated my rights. Don't you f***ing touch me. I will defend myself. That's an assault. You don't. Don't you assault me. Joe, did he just assault me? We don't have the forms here. They're on the website. Just the, the, okay. Just um, I just need to request uh, footage of the security cameras upstairs from today's, from this morning. Well, yeah, you can get your FOIA requests online. I don't, I don't have internet access, ma'am. I need a form. A uh, simple solution to that, dude. Get a library card and start using their internet. But of course, I don't think you have a library card because you know what? You probably can't read very well. So you say, oh, to hell with it. I don't need to use the library, even though the library serves multiple functions, such as an Internet access hub for a lot of areas for people who need to use it. But I guess it was just too much effort for you to think about that particular solution, huh? Or I can, give, I can, if you give me a piece of paper, I can write it on some paper. Okay, and then you'll need to take it over to the board office. Cause okay, that's, where's that? That's going to be upstairs. Okay. Um, so you'll go over to the old part of the building and then go through both sets of double doors. You're going to want to look for the board of commissioners room or board of commissioners office. Okay, would they have a forum up there? She may, she I buy. Okay, I'll go check there. Thank, you guys have been very helpful. Thank you. Don't you touch me, that's assault. Are you serious? Yes, put your hands behind your back. Well, now, there you have it, folks. You got another idiot who decided to, well, skirt the rules and ended up paying the price. Now, he hasn't posted any follow-up videos or any other follow-up information on this particular arrest, but I'll be looking out for that at this channel to see if he has any in the next few days. So, I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.